Hey, thank you for joining us at Mac.com. Today we're just going to talk real quickly about how to create an ISO image without using any third-party utilities to do so. Um, you can do this all within Mac OS X using the terminal application and your normal finder stuff. So we'll just go ahead and quickly get started. Since I am a CLI or command line junkie, I usually do things with the keyboard, but you can do the equivalent with uh, your normal graphical interface. First thing you need to do is open the terminal application. And when you open that, um, you need to check and make sure that you know where the uh, CD-ROM is or the DVD. It should be already be mounted. And once it's mounted, you just need to identify what the name of the device is. And you can type in DRUtil status for that, and you'll get it. And you'll see the screen here. And this is dev disk 4 in this case. If you want to confirm it, you can type in mount, and you'll see it the same thing. So once you do see that, what you need to do is actually dismount or unmount that device and the command for that would be sudo or sudo umount slash dev slash disk4 in this case. You will need to provide your super user password and once you do that it'll accept it and it will dismount the uh, CD. At this point you want to make a digital image or a, a, I forget what DD stands for it could be destroyed data I think is one of the common features but DD will duplicate the data and uh, IF is a switch for in file OF is out file so you're going to do DD space IF slash equals slash dev disk 4 with an out file or OF equals the name of the ISO that you want to call it and once you hit enter it will actually start doing things now if you don't tell it to run in the background with the ampersand at the end of the command you'll just see a blinking cursor don't worry that's normal uh, but if you want to check status on that, there's a couple ways to do it. You can actually open another terminal session, uh, command tab, and you can just simply do ls with a, with a dash lh. Um, you can use look at the whole thing, but I'm doing here just simply the file. And you'll notice as I do it multiple times with some elapse, and elapse time that the, the size is growing. But you don't have to do that. You can actually put it in the background, so Control z will stop the task and then you'll notice that if you type in jobs you'll see the task stopped BG will start the task again in the background and if you notice jobs it'll say it's running so you just want to sit there and wait now while it's running in the background you can continue to type in LS and look at the file and you'll see the it grow as time goes by and then once it's complete uh, the job will actually report complete records in records out etc and it'll be done and that's how to create the ISO. And if you want to validate that it's actually there, there's a couple ways to do that. You want to mount the file again. HDI util space mount space my DVD dot ISO. And that will actually mount the ISO image rather than the CD or DVD that you had in there. Since you did dismount the DVD or CD, you can mount that as well with the HDI utility. And once you've done that for both of them, you can jump over to Finder and you'll actually see them listed in the normal devices section of uh, Finder. Let's just pop over there and look at that. And you'll notice that you can eject them or dismount them normally and you'll see that they're identical. And if you want to prove it, you just start your DVD player. In this case, it is a DVD. Start the DVD player. And when that opens, it'll automatically start. And if you want to, if you think I'm fooling, you can just go open DVD media, tell it I want to mount that ISO image, and then it plays. And it even works. So we'll just click here. This is from a World Vision DVD that we received because we do support a child. And if, I would strongly recommend that if you would like to support some needy children who are in need of help, please visit worldvision.com. And I hope you've enjoyed this very small podcast.